Hello everyone and welcome back again into another vlog from Live Love Thailand. Recently we have uploaded a vlog about the new rules and requirements for entering Thailand and how to apply for that visa according to the new process. In this vlog we are going to show you what are the basic and minimum expenses of this visa including the quarantine hotels, the insurance and everything you have to pay and according to that, how much it will cost a vacation nowadays in Thailand. Now, as you know, in the old good days, traveling to Thailand was a piece of cake. You have to book your ticket, book a hotel, get a simple tourist visa and you are in. All of the above mentioned process would not have cost you a lot and with a small budget you could have spent a two weeks vacation in Thailand without spending a fortune. But what about nowadays? How much a vacation will cost you with the new requirements? Let's start with the only thing that did not change a lot and that is the plane ticket. Well, till now, the price of the air ticket to Thailand varies according to the company and the distance you are traveling. So booking your ticket to Thailand is still simplest thing you can do. With many affordable prices around, regardless you can enter Thailand or not. So booking your ticket should be your last concern when you are traveling to Thailand nowadays. And before that, you have to check the other expenses and traps that you should pass. The first expense that you have to add into your budget is the quarantine hotels and accommodations. Yes, you have to reserve a hotel for 14 days and not any hotel, but the ones that are approved by the Thai government to do your quarantine in and prepay the bill before applying to the visa. So how much minimum they cost such hotels for 14 days? Thailand quarantine hotels covers a wide price range from 26,000 Thai baht, about 900 USD per person, to 220,000 Thai baht, about 7,000 USD per person for two weeks. This means that even the cheapest hotel is charging about 2,000 Thai baht per night. So as you see that, a minimum $900 you should add to your budget, in order to book the least expensive room and spend a 14 days in it. Of course the price includes 3 meals a day, so you better check those two, before ending to eat things you don't like and try to survive. If you want a detailed list of hotels for quarantine and their prices, you could check them in the official site of Quarantine Thai Hotels and choose what's best for you. Now the second thing that you should add to your budget is the insurance that covers your stay and not any insurance but the ones that covers the COVID expenses. All incoming foreign travelers must provide a health insurance policy with an insured amount of at least $100,000. Also, a medical insurance is also required for applying visa to Thailand. 
So how much does it cost a COVID insurance? Well, you have many options. The price can be varying and depends on your age and how long you will be staying in Thailand. One year insurance can cost anywhere from 3,400 Thai baht to 100,000 Thai baht. So if you want to get one, you can also check the insurance websites and buy the one according to the duration of your stay, so another expense on your trip. Now beside your insurance, you have two other things to complete and they are fit to fly health certificate which has been certified or issued not more than 72 hours before traveling and the COVID-19 free health certificate with the laboratory test results negative, which has been certified or issued also not more than 72 hours before departure. So here we are three health things to complete with their expenses in order to fly, so add them to your budget. After completing and paying for the mansion requirements, I am sure you want to stay minimum a one month, unless why to pay for all the extras if less. So that means you have to book your after quarantine accommodation at least for one month. Well, it's better to book an apartment or a condo rather than a hotel to minimize the cost. So a minimum rental will be between $400 to $800 per month so that you can enjoy your vacation after the 14 days quarantine. Hence another obliged expense on your trip. Your daily expenses when you are in Thailand depends on your lifestyle but as a minimum you won't be spending less than a $1,000 to survive a low one-month vacation, unless you will be staying in your accommodation all day long. So if we make a summary and come to a conclusion, you have to add on your trip a quarantine with minimum $900 for 14 days, an insurance for one month with a cost $100, a PCR test and a certificate to fly, which could be around $100. A one-month stay accommodation around $500, moreover, your monthly budget. Hence, we conclude that you have to double or triple your budget in order to pay for all the requirements and spend a vacation in Thailand nowadays. So fellas, as you see, if you are ready to pass all the traps and pay for all the requirements, you can have a vacation in Thailand unless you have to wait till things are back to normal and enjoy a budget vacation without extra costs. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and had an idea about your expenses if you want to visit Thailand in the coming months. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more from Live Love Thailand.